My name is Daniel Graverson, and in this video, I'll just give you a, a short demo of my experience with the HANA Cloud integration. So, HANA Cloud integration is SAP's cloud based integration platform. Um, it's designed to help, com help companies become better using cloud based solutions and doing a lot of the integration you will have in well, cloud scenarios. Um, so the way it, it works is when you got sign up, you got this uh, overview, and then you can select any of these prepaid, pre-delivered contents. And obviously, if there's partners, they would also be here in some way. You can then copy these, and then you can start using them uh, yourself. So what you would see is you would get something like like this uh, view where you can see everything that is going on and if I then click edit here I have the ability to change this flow the way I want it to be so here I'm just adding a mapping between some some data structures uh, do mapping like this so here it looks a lot like you have uh, the mapping engine is the same as you have in PI PO, uh, and then you can add functionality, uh, add mappings uh, the way you want it. Uh, so uh, this makes it easy to do. It's the same tool as normal message mapping. Um, and then if we, we save this, oh, uh, say okay, save probably not work, fix later. Oh, then we can do our mapping in this one uh, to connect it to here, and we can see we get this. Uh, just like when we're doing mappings in the BPMN. Uh, let me see, wait, we'll use this one. Oh. Um, I don't know if I have a... So, so this gives you the, the flexibility to do some different mappings and when you're done, you can say like deploy as we have down here and this is deployed uh, to the, the system and so this gives you the, the flexibility to see what's going on you can see uh, do you want no see what kind of scenarios you have defined uh, on your system and then If you want, you can also see what is uh, running here. So this will give you a list of everything that has been, been running for a period of time. Um, if you want to change the view here. So this gives us a good overview of what's going on. If you want to see the data that's being sent here and everything, uh, we can see it uh, this way. And where it has broken off and what's going on in it. Um, so this is quite a, a nice tool. You can see the processing time, stuff like that. Um, so this is uh, the web base and this is probably the, the location you would be working most for, for creating the tool. Um, if we then look at the, the Eclipse based tool, the Eclipse based tooling is designed if you want to do more complicated tasks, then you can use the Eclipse uh, based tooling for, for this. And it works the same way you can add and edit mappings uh, the same way as you can using the Viva Developer Studio. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's still the same way. You have to be quite precise on where you're putting. Uh, the different elements into it. Um, the good thing is if you have a project here and you know okay I got the PI content for it, you can import the PI content. Um, if you had 
an enterprise repository going up, you could just download everything here uh, for it. The thing that's not supported yet is um, is a user-defined function. So if your mapping contains those, it will give you some some problems. Um, you also have the ability to have style sheets, and the great thing I think is you have the ability to do a Groovy scripts. And well, mostly this would work the same way as a Java or user-defined uh, Java mapping, but uh, Groovy have a lot of better flexibilities for handling XML. So if you want any specific XML handling, the Groovy language is really nice at that because it is a scripting language. You can you can just tap down in, in your your content instead of like getting get child this and then first child and stuff like that if you're using a normal uh, DOM passing of the message. Um, all in all, I, I really like the platform. I can see a lot of uh, use cases for it. Obviously, you have the, the business connector where it, it, it makes sense to, to use it um, because, well, you in business connector, you do have the, the same kind of flow. Um, and then also you have uh, uh, the cloud integration where it makes a lot of sense if you're integrating to cloud application. This would be a good way to, to do that integration because you're just doing it on the cloud-based uh, system. Um, so all in all, I, I really like the product. Uh, it, it gives you a lot of flexibilities as a developer. Um, there's just a few bugs, but I'm, I'm sure these will, will be sorted out uh, in the coming releases. It seems like they're doing releases quite often uh, that fixes some of these uh, problems and, and give more, well, the monitoring capabilities, uh, what you had there was, was new. So, um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel to get updated on more SAP uh, related news. And um, I'm looking forward to see you some other time. Bye.